in this video we are going to solve question number 3 of exercise 7.1 question says determine if the points 1 5 2 3 and minus 2 and minus 11 are collinear or not so you have to determine the, that these three points are collinear so let me uh, first of all tell you what collinear does exactly mean if i consider three points a b and c if all three points lie on a same straight line then these three points are known as collinear points but if i consider three points as a b and c so if i consider these three points they do not lie on a straight line that means these three points are not collinear so If I consider this point as A, this as B, and this as C, so if three points are collinear, they must lie on a same straight line. The coordinate of this is x1, or you can say the coordinate of this is one and five, and the coordinate of these are two and three, and here it is minus two and minus eleven. So. If they lie in a straight line, then these three points will be collinear. And how to prove that they form a straight line? If I am saying three points A, B, C are there, and the distance between A, B is two units, and the distance between B, C is three units. So if they lie in a straight line, that means the distance between ac must be 5 units then only these three points will be collinear means these three points will fall on a straight line and if these are not straight lines if i the distance between ab is 2 units and distance between bc is 3 units in that case the distance between ac won't be 5 units so this is wrong so here if these three points are collinear in that case the distance between individual point should be equal to the sum of any two end points so i hope you have, you got my point so what you have to do you have to find the distance between ab and then the distance between bc and the distance between ac and after that you have to prove that the distance between ab plus bc is equal to the distance between ac so now let's find the distance between ab and to find the distance between any two points we have distance formula which says x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now for ab our x1 is 1 and x1 y1 is 5 x2 is 2 and y2 is 3 so substituting the value our x2 is 2 so 2 minus 1 whole square And our y two is three, and y one is five. So it should be two minus one is one, and it should be minus two whole square. So it should be one plus two. So it should be root. Sorry, uh, square of two is four. So it should be five units. So the distance between A B is five units. Now let's say uh, let's find the distance between BC. Now for this BC point, again the formula will remain the same. Now what I can do is I can consider this point as x1 and this point as x y1, this point as x2 and this point as y2. So substituting the value in the formula, so it should be y2 minus y uh, sorry x2 minus x1. So minus two, minus two whole square. So this is important here because our x1 
x2 is minus 2, so x2 minus x1, so minus 2 minus 2 will be there, and plus y2 minus y1. Now solve this, it is minus 4 square, and this is minus 40 square, and the root, so it is 16. And it is 196. And it will be it will become plus 16 because the power is even. Again, it will become plus 196 because the power is even. So solving this. So it should be 212 units. Now I have to find the distance between AC. Now, again, I have to find the distance between AC. So, I can consider this point as x1, y1, and this as x2, y2. So, our x2 will be minus 2, so it should be minus 2 minus 1 whole square, and our y2 will be minus 11 and minus 5 whole square. So it should be minus 3 whole square and it should be minus 16 whole square. So it should be 9 and the square of 16 is 256. So it should be 265. So here the distance between these two points is 265. Okay, now I have to prove that the sum of AB plus BC our AB is root 5 plus our BC is root 212 is equal to our AC and our AC is root 265. Now, if you can prove that right hand side is equal to left hand side in that case, these three points will be collinear. There are two ways of solving these. First of all, what you can do, you can factorize this and then you can take common or you can find the under root value of these two and then you can compare. Obviously, uh, these calculations can be done by you. So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. Our phone number, email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.